What's up, Jonah? We have had a miserable last seven days of posting. I think you and I have both missed more videos than we should ever miss ever again. So let's cut that out and get back to getting on the good path of always posting. Um, I'm back here in the shop. Um, I'm here in the finishing room, which is messy, but I brought back a lot of the film equipment that was in the, in the tiki bar. Um, so now that we're back in the lab a little bit and we're gonna try to get some projects moving and try to keep some momentum going at the shop, um, I'm gonna start filming here. So today I gotta start like sorting through all this and getting all the lights set up and all that kind of stuff. So we will see how that goes. And then hopefully we'll be posting more videos in the next few days from here in the shop. Uh, now that I'm not gonna be doing the cocktail hour except for maybe once every month or so. So anyways, let's go into the back and see what we're doing today. Um, not so exciting, but it's progress. Um, we are unwrapping, there's Ant back there, we're unwrapping the old Blue Wheel van because we are selling it uh, since we're not using it as much. Um, and you know, the, both the sale of the van and the insurance, the savings from paying the insurance would be a big savings for the company. Um, it's pretty interesting, it used to be black, I wonder if we have a picture of it, but this big black wrap all over it. And you, there's still some spots, I don't know if you can see in the camera where you can kind of see our logo and stuff, it's kind of crazy. Yep, you can see it, Blue Wheel Studios, freaky. The wrap is in there. Um, but yeah, so that's exciting. Also got a couple little projects I've been working on. Ant, uh, Ant's helping me mold these. I uh, sculpted this one a while ago. It's this big like gash that goes in the side of a leg. So like right here. And then over there, I've got a fake nose. Um, I wanted my, uh, for those of you who don't know, my dad is Puerto Rican. My mother is white. And um, I definitely have my mom's nose. And I thought it'd be interesting to try to see what I'd look like if I had my dad's nose. So I have, if you look from the side, uh, you know, a, a nice, like, shaped nose, a little bit of a bump in the center, but it's fairly thin, um, and it's an average size, I think. Uh, my dad's nose, and the same with my grandmother as well, a little more, like, um, lower profile, slightly wider, and a little more round. So I'm going to, this is actually a core of my nose, so I just sculpted a, a little bit more like my father's nose. I want to see what I look like if I had his nose. Um, and I've got another little thing here that I can't show you, uh, but it's for an old friend uh, who's got a feature film coming out and they need to do some reshoots and uh, just trying to help him out with his projects. So um, other than that, that's what I'm up to. Um, I, Chris just stepped out. He's going to go to the bank, um, but he's been working on these helmets over here. Um, I don't know if you can see them right here. These are from uh, Halo. Pretty cool. So he's detailing this and getting it ready for paint. And that's what we're up to here at the shop today. Um, I've seen some of your projects over there. Um, and I saw some of, uh, got like some of our bins of prosthetics are out going through some stock. And uh, also like some of the prosthetics we already ran. This is the Saul makeup that we did at IMATS, the old Jewish man from Coming to America. That's pretty cool. This piece right here, that was from Venom. It was a, a broken elbow for Tom Hardy. I'll show you what it looks like real quick. Hey Aunt, come here, I missed your elbow. Give me your right arm. So you can see it, it goes right there on the arm and of course it would blend down and then it, it's like a compound exposed fracture uh, from that angle. Yeah, this was uh, never to be seen on the skin. It was gonna go on a sock or like a little sleeve and then it would just be like torn clothes around it. So we didn't need nice blend edges. Anyways, that's what we're up to. Um, I don't have any Wasteland Weekend updates right now. I do have some cool, exciting stuff. The team, so for those of you who aren't aware, there's a team of us here in Atlanta who are working on all this Wasteland Weekend stuff. And we've got about a dozen of us and we've been kind of pulling our, our resources together. Uh, we've gotten a lot of stuff for free, but then we've like found some crazy deals like these seats for $20. Um, and we're just trying to like slowly build and accrue all this stuff over time so that we can continue to utilize Wasteland Weekend as a creative art project. Um, but uh, it's been a, a little hard to do that. There's been a lot of stuff in the shop that's demanded my attention, so um, haven't really been able to do much. Um, and, and trying to plan, because, you know, don't have a ton of money. Um, it's, uh, it, and all of it is really just volunteering our time. So I think that, you know, for now I need to make sure that the shop's okay. This stuff needs to be paused for a moment. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting back to some wasteland stuff. You know, getting this thing out the door, that's, that's a, going to be a big relief for us. Um, and yeah, look forward to seeing what else comes up. 
Can't wait to see what you have for me tomorrow. I know you missed yesterday's video, but you did tell me that it was because it's going to be really great and you did have some technical difficulties, so I look forward to seeing what you were up to yesterday. With that, I am out of here and I will catch you tomorrow. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe, and I will see you all on th Friday. Friday. See you later.